Iowa House and Senate have passed the controversial bill to arm school staff and give them legal immunity. Now, you might remember the House already passed this, but the Senate's version removes funding for school resource officers or armed security that they're forcing on the schools. The House version previously established a grant program to allow Iowa's 11 largest districts to recruit up to $50,000 to pay for those costs. No wishful thinking comparison, Iowa Democratic Senator Molly Donahue, a teacher, has more than a few ideas on how to make schools safer without arming teachers or other school staff. She said we could be investing in more funding for mental health resources to enhance access to mental health professionals to identify the supports for students who may pose a risk to themselves or others. And that we could also be looking at universal background checks. We could be looking at gun show loopholes, red flag laws, safe storage laws, things that would be proactive to prevent such a horrific thing happening in our school today. Obviously, none of Donahue's suggestions were taken up as the Iowa Senate advanced the bill in a 30 to 14 vote that nearly fell along party lines. Believe it or not, Republican Senator Charlie McClintock, a former police officer, joined Democrats in opposition. In case you didn't know, this bill allows school districts, private schools, and colleges to arm permitted staff if they undergo one-time training. The identities of armed staff members will be confidential and shielded from public records requests. There's a provision that allows armed staff members legal protection if they were to accidentally shoot or kill a student or teacher or intentionally harm a would-be school shooter. The one interesting wrinkle here is that two Northwest Iowa school districts implemented their own plans to arm teachers, but the measures were dropped after their insurance provider declined to continue to insure the districts because of the policy, which led to Iowa Republican Jason Schultz suggesting that's because of woke corporate moves. The Iowa House did pass the Senate's amended version of the bill, and now it heads to Governor Kim Reynolds' desk for signing. Stay up to date over at Iowa Starting Line. Thanks for watching.